Hi, I'm Ricka from RickaBrandon.com, and today I'm going to talk about the importance of being uncomfortable. Yeah, nobody likes to be uncomfortable, I agree. However, unless we're uncomfortable, we're probably not growing. So I just had the chance to get really, really uncomfortable about six weeks ago. I signed up for Fit Camp from my local YMCA, and I thought, this is really going to help me be a healthier person. I'm going to live a better life. I'm going to make health and wellness a priority which I've said this a few times in my life, but this time I thought this will really be a good catalyst. I apparently glossed right over the part where FIT stood for Fitness Intensive Training Camp. Uh, the intensive part probably would have scared me away if I'd been paying attention to details, which as if you've watched any of these, you know, maybe not my greatest strength. However, I went and I was there and I was committed well before I realized what I had signed up for. So that day I went from sporadically exer exercising occasionally, you know, maybe one time a week or one time every three weeks, it was not anything consistent, to four to five hours a day of group activity exercise. Every muscle I had hurt, in a good way, but still my body was like, what happened zero to 100, you're killing us here. So. I, you know, kind of wanted to quit. Let's not kid ourselves, it was miserable. However, the strength of all the women around me and everybody who was struggling and everybody was feeling the same way I did made me keep going and I pushed myself and I survived and it changed my life. Before that weekend, I would have never gone to a group fitness class without having somebody with me and I probably wouldn't have gone because I wouldn't have known the choreographed moves and I would have been uncomfortable and I really hate being like publicly bad at stuff. Um, and because of that weekend forced me to do all these things I didn't know how to do, the fear sort of evaporated. Like at the end of the day, nobody's watching me be offbeat on Zumba. Nobody's watching me miss a step on body pump. Like it's not that big a deal. And I never would have gotten there without being forced into being really uncomfortable. And so since then, I've tried at least two new classes every week. I'm way outside my comfort zone and I'm actually having fun exercising instead of it feeling like a must do. Now it's a get to and enjoy, which I hope sticks around because then it will be true that it was a huge catalyst for me. I am liking it and I feel like I found something that suits my personality better than before. And I never would have found that out if I hadn't been uncomfortable. So I encourage you to figure out what are you scared of and how can you do something to kind of make yourself be uncomfortable. In the case of hiring, maybe it's actually reaching out to somebody you think would be perfect for your job and talking to them about working for you. Maybe it's simply being proactive or maybe it's firing that person that you've been carrying around for six months knowing they're not a good fit. Whatever it is, I encourage you, get uncomfortable. Yes, it sucks in the moment. However, after that, everything is much, much better. So here's to being uncomfortable.